Hello, and welcome to Crypto Exposed. Crypto exchange Bitrex violated federal laws, SEC charges in lawsuit. So, I did a video um, about three weeks ago, I'd say. And this was in regards to um, a response that BitBoy had put out. And it was a video about how they were saying that we need to stop the tribalism in crypto. And I completely agree. If you want to watch it, it's called Why BitBoy Crypto's Latest Video Was So Necessary and Important. And I was actually surprised by the response I got because, you know, I did expect a lot of tribal answers and a lot of tribal arguments. But actually, a lot of people did see what I was saying and they were actually very supportive which was good to see because that's what we need in the crypto space and I've been saying this from the very beginning of when I started my channel I will say it again and I will continue to say it. we don't need this tribalism we don't need my coins better than your coin we're all here because we believe in the technology and we're all here to try and make some money from investing in these technologies right and so you know when we're having all this segregation and you know watching other people fail and kind of laughing at another crypto's failures what you've got to understand is ultimately it's actually damaging the crypto space and so when you know we're seeing currently ripple in this lawsuit with regards to xrp you know i was saying that really you need to be supporting ripple in this lawsuit because it's really not just about xrp alone this is about the crypto space make no mistake about it and in this new lawsuit that ACC have done against Bitrex, you'll see exactly why I said that. Because they've actually named, I think it's five cryptocurrencies that they are saying are securities. So it seems that they've got their sights on these uh, on these assets. And they are claiming that these are securities. Now, the thing that I have to say here that, you know... <laughs> This is the thing where I'm sitting watching this and I'm thinking, okay, are they basically showing us their hand here? And what I mean by that is the cryptos that are named within this filing, are they just giving us a pre-warning of what they're going to be coming after in the near future? Yeah. Now, I'm not saying that that's going to happen like by tomorrow. You know, these things do take time, but we can see where Gary Gensler is going with this stuff. He's clearly obsessive with just absolutely bulldoze in the crypto industry and his agenda is you know very transparent to see and so if he has it his way the cryptos that have been mentioned are they the ones that are next in the firing line are these the ones that have been deemed in his eyes the next targets to go after the next the next cryptocurrencies to face a lawsuit it makes me wonder right so I'm not going to get into the article too much because you, you get the idea. Basically, SEC have filed a lawsuit against Bittrex. The long and short of it is that they're claiming that uh, Bittrex were operating an unregistered security exchange, a broker and a clearing agency. And they're saying that they should have filed that with the SEC. So that that's the basically uh, the filing that's been put against them. That's the lawsuit that they will now be facing. But let's get to the, the the juicy part here and this is the part that's you know really causing some of the uproar here so according to the complaint against bitrex the sec alleges omis go which is ticker omg algorand ticker algo dash ticker dash token card ticker tkn ihouse token ticker iht and naga ticker ngc are securities. Algorand's token fell on the news, dropping 2.5% in intraday trading with volume spiking. I mean, I don't know all of those cryptos, but I do know Algo and Dash. And Algorand is, is one of the promising cryptos. And so now it just makes me think like seeing Algorand in there, and as you saw already, Algorand's token has been affected by this by losing some of its uh, price value. What's going to happen here? What's the plan? 
are they just getting this ready and just letting people know this is a preview of the tokens that we are coming for next i don't know i mean there's a lot of cryptos in here that they've clearly labeled so i guess they you know they've got a lot of time on their hands to go through this because i mean if you look at the xrp lawsuit well sorry that the ripple lawsuit that's been going on for two years now so clearly as you can see these things take time unless the companies are willing to settle but that's even if the sec want to settle that doesn't always have to be their agenda they could you know they, they could just want to take it all to court and i i think that is their i think that is their uh, intention you know I, I think they just want to crush all these cryptos so i do think they want to keep taking it all the way i don't think they want to settle i think they're trying to do this to really impact the crypto industry I've said why before and I'll, I'll say it again. If you ask me, this is all a play for them to try and keep crypto under the legacy financial system. They basically, they don't want these exchanges to be profiting out of all this. They basically want to keep it for the banks. They want the banks to be able to get into it um, and be able to do the custody of the cryptos, you know, the exchanges and stuff like that. They're just, I feel like they're just trying to wait for the banks to play catch up basically because obviously they're well behind, you know, they're stuck in their old ways. So it's taken them a little while to get everything in play. And I, I think that's what it is. I think they're still trying to learn how to deal with this from a legal perspective, getting themselves up to speed with it, seeing how they're going to adapt their business model to it as well, right? Because that's another thing that's going to be affected by some of these uh, changes within, you know, the, the crypto industry, the technologies are changing things. And so uh, the thing that really surprised me with this is, okay, whatever your agenda is, okay, you're, you know, you're crushing these cryptocurrencies, you're, you know, you're calling them securities, you're wanting to file lawsuits against the companies, etc. But you're literally just stifling innovation in your country. And this is the part that really does confuse me about it because companies are going to leave. They really will. Like, I, 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 don't, I don't know why they feel so arrogant to think that they're going to let this keep going on and they won't be impacted by this in the long term. Companies just won't, you know, they won't set up shop in America. They will leave because no one's going to want to keep having to try and go through these legal battles or just be completely crushed before you even get started due to legal fees you know ripple's current legal fees at the moment is in the millions not all companies have got the money to be able to do that right so where does this end so companies will just avoid that altogether and either not start the company out of fear of you know the company going down due to the legal issues or they'll just start in another country where they don't have to face these type of these type of problems and when you look at this in the future and many of the crypto technology companies have set up shop elsewhere and then you see that america are very behind in crypto technology i feel like they're just going to think like they shut themselves in the foot so i don't understand why they're allowing this to happen Someone needs to step in and stop Gary Gensler because this is getting out of hand at this point. It's already gone far enough, but this is getting ridiculous at this point. And as I say, Algorand is a very big crypto. So I'm very interested to see what happens with this. And I don't want this to happen to you know, any of these cryptos. It's not just a specific, I don't want this to happen to any of these cryptos because it is unfair. And it does make me wonder what, what, where the end is going to be. You know, where common sense is going to prevail here. And people are going to step in and do the right thing. But I know Algorand, to me, from my knowledge, it is the biggest crypto out of all of those that, that have been mentioned. And that one, it is promising. So how this is going to be impacted, I, I don't know right now. But I am thinking to myself, is this Gary Gensler showing you the next cryptos that are in his crosshairs to attack next but what do you guys think do you agree with this do you agree with the lawsuit to bitrex do you agree with the cryptocurrency that have been mentioned that are securities would you disagree what do you think of gary Gensler's agenda is
Do you think he's in the right? Do you think he's in the wrong? Let me know your thoughts, guys. I'd be interested to hear. Thank you very much for watching this. If you did like it, please remember to drop a comment, like, and subscribe. But until next time, take care.